Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Manor Lords, episode number two in our, our preview of the game. I made a horrible mistake, I didn't realize that this game was not being released today. Oh boy, so sorry about that. But we're going to dive right back into this. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff I want to try to get through today. I mean, as always, the mo one of my motivating factors is to just get through things quickly so that we can show a lot of the game before I bring this series to a close. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to move this... Uh, we don't really need the woodcutting thing over there. We, we could have it there, but so it'd be fine. But I'd rather move it over here so I can cut the trees that are near um, the iron deposit so that we can clear the trees in order to get to the iron deposit itself. Uh, we spotted an abandoned camp. What is on the agenda for today, by the way? Our agenda is definitely to go after this bandit camp, especially because it's so close. Go after the bandit camp with our militia. Now, right now, as, as soon as you complete the first five houses, you get a little pop-up which says, and this is something you could turn off, but uh, they give you 20 spears and 20 large shields. We're going to go ahead and form a spear militia. You can see right now it's only 14 recruits strong. That's not enough. Uh, we're, we're expecting about 16. I mean, it might actually be enough, but I've never, I've never tried it. I'm confident if we get 18 or more, we'll be successful. So that's something else to be keeping in the back of our mind. Uh, also, I'm going to redo this road a little bit because, yeah, okay, I know that it's nice and flowery and, you know, and it's curvy and all that, but unfortunately, it's also just not what I want. So, we can make a few roads here, just to line things up a little bit better for myself. We'll take this road all the way back down to the main road. And then we'll build some more uh, houses as well. We don't really need it. We're at 10, we only have 7 people, but we want to keep everyone busy as well. Well, not that one. So these construction workers are going to have plenty to do. I also should build out this road as well. Just enough that we have something to align to on the grid. I think I want this more, uh, having really large backyard actually it might even be too much yeah so we had the three single houses let's just do this as is that'll be nice we can put more houses later if we want uh, yeah, so technically what I want to do next is get the next ones up so I know where I so basically essentially I want to put these up I will not actually build them but they will tell me where I need my road to end in order to uh, get my church because my church is the next thing after this. I think this is what I want Two more big ones Can we get away with less? Like what about this perfect, okay, so that's where I want it. It's right here Let's put the road a little bit beyond And something like that Okay, then we want my church here, so I'm not actually gonna fill those out but this is all well, like pretty far away. We don't really need. And I, I got it all in my mind, but we don't have to get there today. So, we do want to build up the town, though. The more people we have, the more people that'll be in my militia. So, at some point, we'll want to have those guys fan out and go for the bandits. Uh, another thing we're going to want to do is to build a farm. Although we did not use any farming for the first year. In fact, this is a really good start from the perspective that buried deposits having a rich deposit. I prefer, most of all, iron deposits to have a rich deposit, which we got lucky enough to have. Buried deposits also seem really good. And actually, what I should do is increase the number of foragers, because this will very soon run out of berries. Um, as soon as you get into the winter, I think the berries just all kind of die off. So we want to absorb as many of those as possible. Now, at the same time, we're not in short supply of berries whatsoever. We have 110, and that's considered 18 months of food. With the current number of people, which is going to grow, but still. So fuel is really the thing that we need more of, which means we need to very highly prioritize this construction. And all it is is to actually be built. Because we didn't... I mean, there's some goods over here that will need to be... We'll do one over here. Ah, uh, okay, so I need to take somebody off. Well, I guess one of you, because we are really going to need this. And now let's set this area to be towards the mine. I guess I can work my way there slowly, though. So we kind of want it like this. I mean, we want it to 
Just get the trees nearest so we can build a path and put it down. I don't know if the roads would even... We may not even need to do that, but okay. A new family moved in, that's perfect. So now I just have the ability to move up my foragers. It's October. These are not going down yet. Another thing I would want to do is build this up to a um, stables. We don't have the... Ah, well... I think the main... The, the crux of this game is it's all about production management and the biggest uh, asset you have, the biggest uh, knob that you're turning is who... your, your, your workforce. What workforce is going where? Uh, because you need the unassigned people to, to do construction, but you know you need the assigned people to get you all the goods that you construct. So there's a delicate balance here. I don't feel like I have it nailed yet, but um, you know, slowly, and sh slowly but surely, we'll we'll come to the solution. We do have quite a lot of timber. What I'd like to do is get somebody working on the saw pit. For planks, we will need planks. We will need planks uh, for, if for nothing else, we will need it for the church. But we don't really have the people to work there. At least right now, I see the higher priority issues being um, the berries before it goes away. Even though, you know, we have 19 months of food. We're still going to do that. Oh, we don't need anybody in the... Ah! The bandits have stolen... So this is another interesting point. I don't know what the tools do for us. Technically, they took all all of our tools. We have no tools. Does that mean that we can't work on stuff? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. But now with the extra person, we could... Well, one, we could probably... Seven months. They also took berries and they took hide. Dang it. We need the hide, too. Oh, we're up to 16. Well, that's good. I'd like a few more people, honestly. I can expand this working space, but I, I also want to get a farmhouse. This will go right here. So this will be a low priority. So we can build all the other stuff first. I guess with 12 housing and only 8 people, we don't need to upgrade this, but I will eventually. Two people will work on that farm unless I send one more person over here. I guess the fuel situation is not dire. We have enough firewood to last us seven months. I think that already accounts for the doubled uh, consumption during the winter. During the winter, you do consume double, double your firewood. I think it's one per month per family. And, and that's the same with food. Food is one per month per family. Except for that doubles for firewood in the winter seasons, so uh, three three months. December to February. Oh, it says right here, fire consumption doubled. Yeah, seasonal resources are gone, so we know these berry deposits are just about to go. Try to collect them before that happens. You know, not again, uh, not uh, critical, because we are doing so well on that. We have uh, 20 months of food. We I wish the bandits would just take berries. Eh, they're not always so kind. Which means we need more people to move in before we can get... Uh, we can go over there and try to fight them and get our stuff back. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was actually rename this to... I didn't think the tort, Tortuga anything sounded that great. Uh, so we could do like Powerton. Let's do Powerton. It's good enough. And there's another game mode. I mean, I don't use it very often, but in theory, if, if we ever want to, you can explore your town. It's pretty cool. This is our, our market. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Don't be shy. Some bread. And ladies. You'll not find finer ways Lots of berries. The diet for our people is mostly berries. I feel like uh, the outhouses around here would probably be a... Firewood. Firewood. Step right up and sample. Yeah. They do have little things they say. So yeah, we can go to our town. We're headed right now to the, the firewood place. 
we cut through here? No. But there's the firewood place. So, we essentially were right here, at the very end of that. I guess I know my town well. I, w I don't know if I'd expect you guys to have it all memorized yet. Farmhouse is almost done. That's great. Uh, we're not going to work it right away, but another, another thing I would like to get up is the stone house, or the stone mine. So we'll want to put the, the stone mine itself down first. That way the road will connect to it directly. Uh, this is really minor, but if you put a road, this thing next to the road, it won't want to attach to the end of the road. Anyway, this is, again, it's very minor comment, but now we do it this way, we can actually have this connect to the, to the end of the road directly. It's kind of nice. Okay, there we go. So that I don't know when that will be built. That should also be a, a low priority. So set to low. Good. So we'll set this up to higher because it's higher priority than the the other one. And then lastly, I think that we want our saw pit to actually get functional, which means that we're gonna steal one of the construction people away. Always more than we more stuff than we can. Oh, berries are almost down. Transfer one person off here. Probably I need two people on the woodcutters. Although, even the one person is acquiring fuel very quickly. Alright, I will leave that well enough then. Leave well enough alone. At some point, when we end up... I mean, the hides just got stolen from us, but at some point we're going to want a tannery. I can uh, also just put that down. Don't and we won't use it right away, we don't want it to so I'll pause and set this to the lowest priority. Really don't need it anytime soon, but if they have nothing else to do, go ahead and get working on that. Now that the farmhouse is done, I assume that this is all, and what I should do is even uh, make sure that they are heavily prioritizing this area. This is important because that's where we're going to want to do our crops. We have plenty of timber right now, so I don't really see a point in pushing on it. With the extra people moving in, we're not yet past 16. Okay. Cheated him? Never. It looks like it's just two times the number of people you have, families you have. Or two-thirds this. No fields to work. Okay, great. Oh, that means that all this, despite looking like trees, is not actually trees. It's crazy. There's another way to view this, I forget, where you can actually see the, the actual trees, but maybe we'll get them back to work by expanding their working area more. Not this. Well, that's surely going to do it. But the fact that there are not trees there, which means we're probably okay to build a uh, field. And this is where Emmer Fertility is very important. Finally gonna use use this. I want this field to be big enough. It's not... I, w I wish we could make our field a little bit less, like... I mean, more polygons. Let's do that. That's going to be our field. Uh, we don't need to do anything with it yet, but it will eventually be for wheat. Uh, but I better not... I, I guess nobody will be assigned to the farmhouse now. Um, what I found is, although there are these stages, you can actually start the plowing now, but it does not apply any progress to the plowing which happens um, in the beginning of the new year when you actually have to seed. You'll also have to replow again, even if you plowed it and then left it in good shape. Okay, it looks like they are getting to work on the uh, new family member as well, the Stonecutter's Camp. I guess it wasn't as low a priority as some of the other stuff. Do we have somebody at the saw pit now? Yeah, we do. Five planks. We'll need more than that. This church is going to be 20. Okay, so anyways, I think we're in good shape here. One of the things that we're missing is regional wealth in order to put down like more orchards, even to buy veggie fields and stuff like that. We will have that capability actually very soon because 
Because, because, because. Uh, once we use our, our militia to raid the bandit camp, and we are angry at them for their aggression, uh, we will get money by conquering them. So actually, the bandit camps, they're, they're a good thing. Once you have enough people to go over there, you could you know, take the take out the bandits and then take their camp, which will end up being a lot of money. We're up to 18. That is sufficient. I maybe I'll wait till 20, since it'll only be another month, and I think we're okay to wait that. We have 12 housing, we're at 9 people, we're okay on housing. We already know where the next two housing can go if we want it to. Planks, we are at 5. Yes, this guy's got to step up the planks action. Otherwise, farm-wise, for the next year, we are in good shape. I guess the Stonecutter's camp is not built yet, but we should have uh, they're built, you know, bringing another ox, another log over. That is, of course, the downside of... And you know what? Let's make their return trip a little bit easier. Why not? So hopefully they were able to take the, the quicker path home. I'm watching. No! It might have been a thing where they pathfind at the very beginning of their movement, and then they don't re-pathfind after that. And that would not be uncommon. Like we, as humans, most people will recalculate. Because we have the brain power to do that. Not always the case for computer stuff. That may not have the resources to do it. I guess we want to kind of move. Oh, wait, Forger's Hut. Now useless. Let's unoccupy that. We do have wild animals, 17, but I think I actually prefer the faster construction right now for the moment. And speaking of construction, it's never too late to build a couple more houses. One, perfect. Let's also set these to low priority. As soon as our next tick happens and we have 18 people though, we'll be very happy to go after those bandits. Okay, I think at this point we're just waiting for the construction to go. Okay, it's done. Stone... What, what would be next for them? I guess the tannery would be. Technically not. It's technically low, the same as these guys. Well, now they're very low. We're having these guys run around a little too much, but that's okay. I think tannery is a little bit more important. Honestly, these are all equally unimportant. Uh, even getting the hitching posts up to a small stables might be more important than the church or anything else. Again, we just need that one more family, but this is the last phase of, um, last month of autumn. Hey, there they are. We're at 19. 20. Perfect. Let's sally forth. Alright. We are moving at max speed there, but there are our troops. Now they're moving pretty quickly because they're running to position. There they go! Look at them. Uh, one thing I would like to know, uh, get more details about is like who is in my army. So we can hold tab here to bring up the information. They're fatiguing themselves by running and because our target is pretty close, we, don't, we have no reason to run, really. And they'll start coming after us as soon as they realize that we are coming after them. We'll just sit here, recover that very small amount of fatigue we lost. And then, in a, you know, just in a couple more minutes, we'll be uh, attacking the bandits. And we have stuff to do up here, too, which is good. With five people, I feel like one thing I would like to do is get the woodcutter's lodge up and running. That one does not need to be used. Oh, yeah, let's get... That's already being used as well. It's a very unusual 
period of time when you have more people than you need. So I guess we'll just let these constructions finish. You know, if that's the case, then... We do have plenty of timber. We'll get all this underway. I may even want to double up on the saw pit to get more planks. Because that is the limiting factor now on having a church, which is what I want to get next. Anyway, let's go to our people. First of all, I'll make them control group 1 so it's easier for me to select them. And, you know, their fatigue is not bad. They get cohesion by just standing in place. Let's have them go and move over here. And once they move there, I suspect that the enemies will will be emerging from their camp to uh, to face us. Okay, well, we will hopefully get a no notification when there's a brigand unit on the map. I think you do. You probably should just pay attention to that. I guess I have them here, and one thing I would like to do is have them go to stand your ground mode. Uh, this is just hypothesis, not... I don't have any knowledge about this, but... Uh, spearmen in most games, and it appears in this game, have very low attack. You see, one attack, five armor, zero anti-armor, eight shield, zero charge, and ten impaling. What I infer from that information is that they are good at defense and bad on the offensive, which, as I said, is pretty typical of spearmen units uh, in other games. Um, it's the portrayal of spearmen units as their defensive units. So what I want to do is maximize that advantage. We will attack half as often. But I think that we will be impossible to hurt. That's my hope. They stole... We're right next to them. Oh, man. Well, it looks like they stole planks from us just when I was starting to get planks going. Well, it's definitely time for us to have some words with them. They haven't come after me yet either. Which is a little confusing. My previous playthroughs of the game, they would come after you if you were this close. It's very cool though, look at this. We have fatigue, we have climbing, and we have cohesion. So because we're moving and climbing, we're gaining a, a bigger negative. And there they are, there the brigands are. So we can stop wherever we were, and brace. And we will set them, yeah, they are set to stand your ground. Nothing to do now, but quickly pause, head over to our town to make sure that there's something for our four unused families to do. Honestly, I think I will bring up the... Oh, I was unpausing. Not what I wanted to do. I will bring up the saw... The, the planks. The saw pit. More of that. More woodcutter's lodge would be good. I don't know if three is necessary. But just... We have nothing else to do for the moment. It's a good time to, to get a lot of that. And we are more behind on fuel than food. Uh, this is done. So that's very good. We'll be able to get two oxen soon. Tannery. Well, we don't have any hides. So that's pretty pointless for us to actually occupy that. And we have somebody occupying both storehouse and granary, which is good. Okay, you know what? I know we only... We, we left two. I think that that's fine. What we can also do is... And I think that there are a lot of these things. Just expand the working... The living spaces... I think I already explained this, but basically the houses have like two dimensions you can upgrade. One, you can give them the back lot, which allows them to be like blacksmith or backyard extension. It could be, you know, food, vegetables, all this stuff. Now, we need wealth for that, which we're going to get very soon from the bandits. But the other one is when you build it, if you build it wide enough, it can support two, ho two families by just an, an add-on extension. Essentially a, what do they call that? Additional dwelling unit, ADU, whatever. Pretend like I know I don't. But this is the that's it. So we have enough going on at home to keep us occupied. That now we can focus our attention on this, which is great. We're ready to go. Are they coming after us? They are, or appear to be at least. Okay. 115%, they are at 99%, they are climbing as well. I put us into a, a too deep formation. They look like they're preferring the staggered formation, I guess. I'm going to let them charge into us, 
because we're just going to absorb it, I, I hope. Okay, here we go. Now, some of them don't even have shields, and they looks like they're fighting with clubs. I'm assuming that, a, a, you know, let's pretend that we're a disciplined wall of spears, but at least a semi-competent line of spear wall. It'd be difficult to penetrate with just a big club. Actually, in this kind of close combat, I'd absolutely give the spears the disadvantage. It's very hard to wield a spear in that kind of close environment, unless you're holding it almost at the neck, I guess. But that would defeat the whole purpose of having a spear to begin with. Not that I, I don't really know about combat to that degree anyway, but anyway, here we are. So 60, oh, they lost their first one, they lost two. So you see the morale starting to drop. We're holding strong and we haven't lost anyone yet. They're down to 11. And their morale's dropping a lot. Fatigue for both was about the same. It looks like they're down to only nine, eight, seven, they've routed. We've done it. Victory. All right, well, the best part of the victory is to the victor of the spoils. Let's go to the bandit cap and pick up our, our, our loot. Let's get those berries back that they've been taken. Hopefully my tools too. Unfortunately it doesn't work that way, but it would be nice. Well, actually what we get is even better. We get the money. So what's going on over here? Are they building anything? There is still some construction going on, which is good. We're making our way to the camp. Do this at 3x speed even. Perfect. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. We can either send this to the regional wealth, or we can send it to my personal, my manor lord's personal treasury. We'd much rather send it to the nearest town, for now. With the reason being that uh, I, I can buy mercenaries with the money, but I really can't do much with it otherwise. And uh, there's a lot of important stuff we want to do with that wealth. Now that we have 139, that's it. Oh, I thought it was more than that. Oh, was last time it was like 200. So the first thing I want to do is build, uh, is order another ox. These are very useful. Uh, I think an early game limiting factor is how many ox, how many oxen you have carrying around timber. So we'll get another one. That takes 20 as is. So there it is. We placed our order, or maybe it's not available for another 20. Do I already get it? I don't know if it's being delivered to us or what the situation is. I thought I clicked it. I don't know if our money went down, but I think it did. The other thing we want is a church, and that'll actually, with a level 2 housing, once we can upgrade, well, we will actually get a small trickle of income, which is nice. Anyway, not enough goods. What are we missing? Planks, of course. Even with two people here? Are we? What's going on? Yeah, you can see regional wealth gain was 139. I thought it'd be more like 200, but it's probably random. That just wasn't as much as I hoped. Yeah, we have two oxen now. And they're both there. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Regional wealth just went up again. Was it two trickles of it? I am not exactly sure, but hey, I'll take it. Our folks are not yet back, so we can't dismiss them until they get back within our borders. And we plan to dismiss them as soon as they do. No reason for them to be out there now. Okay, well this is very good. Now we have a lot of money we can spend it on other things, like I think that we'll probably want to get some chickens going on for diversity of um, food. Is this one big enough? I think this one's big enough. Let's go with chickens here. And you know what? I'll go with chickens here as well. That's 50 money already down the drain. It's very, very easy to spend money, trust me. We also want a, uh, well, as soon as these are built. We're going to want some goats. Because we want the hides. So we get hides from uh, hunting these animals and we can, oh, the 21, okay, well. Let's put somebody on there. We'll get the hides from that. We'll actually use the tannery as soon as we have an income of hides. But this is a passive income. It's very important to do it, I think. 
Alright, let's put you up to high priority just to get you done a little bit faster. Guys are still taking their sweet time. I, I do like this. This is the mode I was talking about, actually. In this, you can actually see how many trees there are. You can see the smaller ones are not really trees. And the bigger ones, our trunks, are trees. Well, you know, I mean like timber. Things that can give timber. Because timber. obviously this is not, these are not trees. One way to get around this is just to build fields and then delete the fields I found. That's kind of a, a hack, a workaround. Um, but for your windmill, you don't want to have any nearby trees. So I do use that to make sure I have the highest effectiveness for my windmill. Um, okay, so I, I mean, we've accomplished everything I wanted to do in this episode. I can't believe it's already been another 30 minutes. But I feel like we have gotten a good chunk of things done. And with all this extra money, we can actually build more orchards. And that would be maybe another thing we can get going even right now. Just build another... I'd like this to be a two... Okay, so can we make that? Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'll build that. That'll be a second orchard as well. Um, because orchards give nice supply of apples. It's very good for your long-term food income. And one of the things that we're going to see is that food stall supply, they expect two types of food right now. That'll be more food every time you go up with another house. So getting eggs from our chickens and apples from our orchards... It's two different supplies right there. We can get, eventually, when we upgrade enough, we could, if we want, go with beekeeping and get honey as a third one. And that's three resources that we get just in our local area before we rely on berries or meat from wild animals or from farming. So I, I kind of hope that we'd get into the actual new year and complete a full year in the second episode, but I actually feel like our pace has been pretty good so far. We will disband them now that they're here. They disband, and that takes us to a nice stopping point in the next episode. I don't know what we'll get ourselves into. Probably actually using the farm. We'll get a windmill up, a communal oven for baking the bread, all that kind of fun stuff. We'll also be able to hopefully continue to increase our population. And I don't know, we might even get going with iron. Until the next one, though, thanks for watching, and take care.